<clears throat> so let's uh, repeat some of the points. Uh, we looked at this already and we will uh, look at it again here. Uh, so bathypelagic and abyssopelagic. So ocean is very vast. Wide open ocean o occupies 75% of the living space in the oceanic province, right? The shelf area is small, coastlines add up to a uh, significant part, but open ocean, imagine the Pacific, and then you add the Atlantic, Indian, Southern Ocean, Arctic Ocean, you have massive amount of oceanic province. So as you go along the bottom and you get, or in the open ocean, you go deeper, we said we have uh, euphoric, dysphoric, and aphoric. So when you live in the dark, you need either to be able to navigate in the dark. So many fish actually don't even need eyes. They are blind. But many uh, have enough uh, capacity to see in very low light. And they have this bioluminescence, freaky bioluminescent fish. So you can see a fish here. Uh, which is going around has a, a very sharp teeth and the body shape is still uh, quite streamlined is carrying some parasites uh, on top of it so you have bioluminescence which is very common in the mesopelagic and deeper ocean so biologically they're able to produce light just like the fireflies on land uh, so and these uh, detritus feeding shrimp are uh, attached to this uh, fish here. Um, detritus is a dead parts, dead uh, organic matter, basically, okay? Uh, as opposed to feces, which is the poop of uh, the fish, okay? So we already talked about euphoric, close to the surface where there's enough light to support photosynthesis. Dysphoric, small but measurable quantities of light. Aphoric, no light. So benthic environments uh, we talked about, continental shelf, continental slope, trench, and the benthos, the bottom of the ocean, right? So the supralittoral is the transition from land to sea, uh, the, the, is uh, related to the tidal zone. It's also called the spray zone. It's typically above the water level, except when a tsunami comes or a big storm comes and so on. Uh, even in spring tide, it's above the water line. Subnaritic is basically how far the spring uh, high tide goes uh, uh, on the shore. So you have intertidal zone and shallow subtidal zone and so on and so forth, okay? So these are some bathial uh, organisms. Uh, more than 80% of the benthic environment is uh, occupied by the abyssal ocean, very bottom of the ocean. Uh, and Hades is when you get below 6,000, 6 kilometers. That's very deep. And now you think about the pressure that's there no light, no oxygen, but life survives, right? So you can see one weird organism running around and see lots of tracks made by things and there is a starfish-like thing uh, here on the bottom at the, the deep, deep depths. So I want to pull up a video before we close out, uh, but I'll have to do it separately because I'll have to do a screen capture uh, for that. So let's see if I can uh, So let's see if this works. Uh, you can hear the sound. So a 30 ton gray whale has uh, fallen to the bottom of the ocean. They weigh many tons. The blue whale is, for example, the length of several school buses, three school buses. And all this meat is available at the bottom. So this is like a whale buffet. These uh, snake-like creatures are living at the depths of several kilometers and they are digging into the whale meat and chewing it up. Look at them dig into the whale and then there are also some sharks um, which eat, it's called a sweeper shark, very deep sea creature, more than seven meters long, right? So you can see just how fascinating life is even several kilometers deep. I think I'm having some squealing sound. Sorry about that. 
I hope you can see. You can see how this shark is chewing into the whale meat, right? The hagfish, the snake-looking hagfish has no jaws, so it just chews into the soft meat, whereas the shark obviously has very sharp teeth and can bite off. And I will forward, but you can see that eventually all the meat disappears and then microbes and whoever else is completely going to chew it up and uh, almost disappears after some time okay so you can see this is what happens at the bottom of the sea in the dark dark ocean here these are called polychaete worms they are coming at the very end so they are only found around the fallen bodies of whales there you go again, very high pressure, no light, very inhospitable environment by our standards, but obviously quite hospitable for 